Combining physicality with, with solo practice, uh, this again would be looking to make it more specific towards match play. Uh, for instance, you could be practicing shots for a specific time. So for instance, going back to say forehand drives for five minutes, and then you give yourself two minutes or a minute in between where you could do a physical exercise, depending on what you want to do. So ghosting was always something that I enjoyed doing and I felt was very beneficial. But if you really wanted to get in a horrendously hard oxygen debt, you could do court sprints. Um, again, you've got, to, you've got to look at what works for you. If you're six foot four um, and you've got slightly um, weak back or you know, you're not particularly keen on doing charging up and down the court and slamming into the walls like a maniac, then, then maybe not court sprints. You could then skip or you could do some agility work or you could do some core or abs. It's not all just legs, um, but yeah, so you would bring that in and then you could change your shots. You could go through the six main shots with two minutes of, of physical exercise in between. Uh, what this promotes is then when you go into the next shot after you've actually done your physical uh, activity, you're in an oxygen debt. So you're feeling tired, your mind's not working, and that's the big test. That's the crucial test is being able to play highly skilled shots and being technically sound when you're in an oxygen debt, when you basically can't think and sometimes you can't hear. Now, if you get to that state, then you're obviously training very, very hard and uh, maybe you should be looking also to, to go into uh, some more extreme sports.